So, now finally, as I'm rounding up, I just want to pray for everyone. Uh, I want to thank God for every one of you. Uh, most also especially for people that are connected right now. And for everyone that will be probably watching this video with Tan and all our friends and partners and fans and people that follow uh, me on, on my Facebook page, uh, Pastor Wales Gloriola, and also the people that follow my ministry, the Blizz and Fire Church and Network, and all my friends, and all these great people, friends, uh, fans all around the nation of the world, from nation to nation, uh, coast to coast, all turn, wherever they might be, on the surface of the earth, from um, Canada to Serbia to Croatia to Ireland to, to London to North America to Mexico to Philippines to Singapore to Brazil to Peru, everywhere. China, Indian, Pakistan, um, all around Germany, France, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, all around the world that these people are. I, I just want to thank God for you. I bless the name of the Lord for you. I pray that God will meet you at the point of your need. I pray that this weekend will be a great weekend for you. I pray that the things that you might have lost in the past few months, God will restore. There will be a restoration for you in the name of Jesus. I pray that uh, and some of you that are going through struggle at this point in time, I know, uh, you know, people inbox me and many, many things like that. I've seen, I've heard, you know, that, 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 that even some people, they, they struggle so hard that, you know, they lost their job, they, you know, some even, even to feed, even all those things. Yeah, everybody's affected. I'm affected too. Amen. But the point I'm making is that right now, I'm praying that God will release unto you. There will be a release from heaven. There will be a new door opening to you. There will be a blessing flowing unto you right now in the name of Jesus. The gates shall be lifted up for you. The glory shall shine over you once again. In the name of Jesus, God will make a way for you. I know that because the Bible tells us that he make way where there is no way. It doesn't matter whether there is a way there. Once God is there with you, a new door will open. A new way will come, will emerge for you in the name of Jesus. And you know what? It tell, the Bible tells us that, the God, that God will turn a dry land into a fruitful field. And it said that fruitful field will be counted for a fruitful forest. So I'm praying for you right now that that thing, that situation that look like a dry land for you right now, that look like this, like if some, nothing is growing out there, nothing good is up, showing up right now. I pray that that thing will be turned around into a fruitful field for you, to be a place of blessing. Your place, your dwelling place, your, habita your habitation will become a, a place of glory, a place of blessing, a place of divine opportunity, a place of wealth in the name of Jesus. Because the riches of heaven will come upon you in the name of Jesus. God will shine his face over you and make way for you. He's a great God. He's a loving God. And he will, he will ignite you with the, with the fire of his love. I pray that you will experience the love of God in every area of your life. I pray that your love of God will begin to, to, uh, I mean, to mend your path, to make, to make your way right in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will begin to lead you the more. The Spirit of God will lead you and go before you. Remember, the Bible says many that are led by the Spirit. They are the sons and the children of God. We say the sons and the daughter of God. Amen. You know, and it also tells us that the full step of the righteous are ordered by the Spirit of God. And from today, your full step shall be ordered by the, by, by, the, by the Spirit of God. It will direct you to the right place. It will lead you to the right thing. The things that are not meant for you, the things that could take your life, the, king, the things that could, sh that could shorten your life, the things that could cut your blessing short, will not come your way. Those things will be far away from you, but the things that will make you to accomplish, the things that will make you to fulfill, the things that will make you to experience the blessing and the glory of God will be the things that will be around you, that will surround you, that will enclose you, that will, that will be run about your life in the name of Jesus. God will hold you by hands and walk you in his way. 
That's always be my prayer. It's a great prayer, beloved. You know, I used to do, I used to pray like that. I said, Lord, hold me by hands and walk me in your way. The place you don't want me to do to be, don't let me be there. The things you don't want me to do, don't let me do it. Stand on the way, you know. You know how God can, you know, to just stand on your way and not letting you do that thing which you don't want you to do. That's that's a great prayer because then you will not fall apart. Then you will not do what is what is not right because God will take you through the right step. Amen. Beloved, those steps may be long. Those steps may not be pretty easy, easy sometimes, but there's peace in it. There's glory in it because it's being led by God. Yes, I pray God will lead you. You will accomplish. If it's in your ministry, you will accomplish. If it's in your business, it will be great. You will accomplish. Your business will boom in the name of Jesus. If it's in your marriage, your marriage will be, will, will be renewed. God will renew it, ignite it, and restructure it in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will be fruitful. I'm telling you right now, your marriage will be fruitful. There's some of you right now, You've been going through marriage that is not been fruitful, and you've been praying, you've been crying. I say, ends from today, by the anointing that is present right now, your marriage become fruitful. Fruitfulness become your portion right now. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you. I love you all. Good to see you. I look forward to talk with you again uh, next weekend. Say, follow Pastor Ways, uh, subscribe on, 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 on our Blaze and Fire um, on YouTube channel. We have uh, it's called uh, YouTube for us, like Blaze and Fire. You know, Blaze and Fire, you can search for it, subscribe to it, um, follow uh, follow Pastor Wales on, on Facebook, Pastor Wales Goriola on Facebook. Uh, also, you can follow Blaze and Fire Church on, Blaze, on Facebook, uh, Blaze and Fire Church on Network. Um, you can be a blessing to the ministry, be a blessing to my ministry. If God has blessed you, you know, I believe in one thing. When you are truly blessed, you look around to bless other people. If God has blessed you, nothing stop you from blessing this ministry. Be a blessing to Blaze and Fire Church. Be a blessing to Pastor Ways Guru, all our ministry. And God bless you. Love you. And remain in the love of God. And see that you love your labor. See that you love other people. Ignite other people with the love of God and see what God will do for you. Take care, every one of you. God bless you.